All right, guys, what we're looking at here today is I've added this relay zip tied right in here uh, with this wiring, nice and compact to the motor. I've read on a few different posts that when you put an aftermarket fuel pump in these Mercury engines like this, that they have a tendency to burn up the circuit that's in the computer. So I didn't have any problems so far, but I figured better safe than sorry. So what I did was uh, cut the wires that went to the actual fuel pump and I added in this little 30 amp relay to uh, supply the pump so that the computer isn't having to supply so much voltage. This relay only draws about a quarter of an amp. Uh, the pump that was in here originally, I think they said that it's supposed to only draw about an amp. They say the aftermarket ones draw about five amps. I haven't checked it. This is just me. Uh, this is just me being better safe than sorry. So what I did was I cut these two wires and I left the factory wiring where if sometime in the future, if I want to put this back, I can just rehook re -hook these wires and it'll all be fine. And I'll come back in and fix all these wires up real nice and tuck them in and zip tie them. That way it'll look nice and, and be right. But uh, what I had to wind up doing was this is the ground that the computer supplies for the fuel pump. It doesn't supply a solid ground for this fuel pump all the time. It supplies a ground when it determines that it wants the fuel pump to run. And then it also supplies a positive signal when it wants the fuel pump to run. Well, I was having a problem this relay was staying energized because this, the computer does not pull this wire completely off ground. It supplies a very small charge to it even when everything's off. So it was making my relay stay energized. My fuel pump just wouldn't go off. So what I wound up doing was just grounding the fuel pump solid against the block here. That may not be the best solution, but it actually made everything work and allowed me to use my relay the way it's meant to be done. Now, when the key is turned on, the pump primes up just like it should. Uh, doesn't have any alarms that come on on the computer or anything. Now let me get the water on here and I'll show you how everything's working. Working just like it should. For a little bit up more up close look, this here is the ground for the battery cable that goes to the battery. I took it off and put my ground wires for the pump and the relay under it. And around here in the front is where the battery wire comes in for the uh, main starting cable. I undid it and put my positive wire for the relay underneath it that way this fuel pump is drawing directly from the battery power going through it and into the pump so it doesn't matter how much amps this pump draws it'll always be supplied through this relay here I haven't yet ran my final heat shrink I've got some grease in all the plugs to keep the water out just in case uh, but I'll run the heat shrinker over it and let you see the final result.
and this is the wiring in its final form factor nice and tucked away neatly where the cowling can't hurt it or pinch it in any way when it's put on How about one more start up just for good measure Listen to her purr. 